For the final stage of uh, the order management screen for Root Magic, I'm going to be talking about invoicing and invoices. Uh, so I'm going to be talking on how to add an invoice, uh, how to how to work out the status, how to generate PDFs, exporting invoices, marking them as ready, um, consolidating them, um, bulk picking invoices, downloading them, and also the um, the settings associated with invoicing. So now, as you can see, we're on the back office system, we're on the home page. We're just going to click down here to invoices, and I'm going to explain uh, this page uh, in, a, in a little bit of detail. So you've got all our invoices here with the usual information, so you can identify which one you need to make changes to or process quicker, with the customer, the delivery point, the amount, uh, the totals, and uh, the date created. See most of these here are pro forma, which means that uh, they need to be processed and ready to be invoiced, which means all you need to do is go back into sale orders and click on any one of these, pick that one for example, click to actions and then mark as delivered. Now this can be done by your driver using the mobile app as well. Once they've finished the delivery and uh, marked it as delivered on the handheld app, the same will happen and it will go through and the invoice will uh, be generated and picked up on the back office system. So if I take you back into here, you can see this one is pre-invoice, which means that in the sale order section, I've marked it as delivered. All you need to do is click there, go up to actions, and then you can mark as ready. And now you can see it says ready to invoice. You can see a PDF of the, the invoice that's being generated. If I just bring that up for you here. So it's automatically generated all the subtotals, bank details, and such. Now, if I click onto this one here, again, you have all, all the information you need, all the, all the discounts, any discounts that have been applied, all the items, uh, when it was created and any notes, if there are any and who, and who it was created by. You can then from this stage choose to invoice the customer, which means if I just show you there, if I click to invoice the customer, this section here then changes from ready to invoice to invoice and, um, the invoice is being processed and passed through the system that way. So here you can see that this one has already been set up and it's been invoiced. Now, if I go down here and show you two examples, so you've got these two invoices here, uh, different orders being processed separately, but they're for the same customer, as you can see. What we can do is mark them both as ready and then they're, they're ready to invoice. And then similarly, they're both, uh, they're both, both highlighted together. You can choose to consolidate an invoice and what it will do is can, it will come up as consolidated in green and it will generate a new invoice for you there which uh, tallies up and and joins both of the both of the separate invoices together which just makes it easier and helps you stay better organized and so you, your customers don't have to receive separate invoices when it's much more convenient to just receive just receive the one with the entirety of both orders on as you can see it's got the amounts um the amounts double, the amounts are increased now because it's both of them added together and uh, the date is today because it was created today. Okay, so a few more things to show you here. You can see we've got some invoices that have been consolidated, drawn up into one, um, one, entire, one entire invoice and another one that is just simply invoiced on its own. Uh, in this drop down menu up here, you have the option to export any invoice you choose to a CSV file. Um, you can also mark it as ready as we've seen. You can bulk invoice, multiple invoices at once, and you can also choose to bulk download. So if I click to export to CSV here, it will simply draw up and generate a report. And it will automatically bring all the information up into a report here with all the invoice numbers, the postal codes, addresses, and uh, emails and stuff like that. Okay, so now if we click into change export settings, uh, essentially you can just uh, change the layout and the structure of the invoice uh, as per, per your requirements and how you prefer invoices to be sent out. That may, means you can change um, the details, you can say what to include, what not to include, whether it's first names, second names, email addresses, uh, lines of address, uh, all of this information here. So as you can see in our database, we've got uh, a lot of variables which you can choose from, really just to suit your preferences and how you have always uh, or prefer to send your invoices off to your customers, or equally how your, how, your, um, how your customers work and how they prefer to receive their invoices. Okay, so that's the invoicing section done. 